So hey guys, welcome to Hillcrest Park in Thunder Bay, Ontario. This is just a faster video of uh, the Emo Urban S. I know my first uh, impressions video is way, way too long. So this is just gonna be a quick video showing you the Emo Urban S and its features. So first off, uh, we'll go to the motor. So it is a 48 volt, 350 watt motor. So I guess 350 continuous, 500 watt max. It uses a, there are three battery options, but this particular unit is the top battery. So basically it has a lockable battery storage. The battery is easily removable. So that is the battery. So it is a 48 volt, 20 amp hour battery. You can also get a 48 volt, 14 amp hour lithium, as well as a 48 volt, 10 amp hour lead acid battery. So the controls on it are similar to a motorcycle. So you have your twist throttle, you have a two position, or a multi-position light switch here. So if you turn on the initial switch, it will turn on the rear light as well as the dash. Then if you go completely to the left, it will turn on the headlight, which is a LED headlight and it has a high beam and a low beam. I have flipped the switch, you might not be able to see it because it's a daylight. And it does have LED turn signals front and rear. So I'll show you those. So front turn signal, rear turn signal, and then basically you press the middle button to turn it off. It does have an indicator on the dash so that you know that they're on. Uh, they kind of flash, not that brightly. It has basically a horn switch on the left and the right. And then the dash, basically it gives you your current speed, gives a total odometer. It doesn't have a trip computer or resettable or anything, just total odometer. And then it has a uh, battery gauge indicator. Uh, it has a hook here for carrying groceries. And then basically the ignition key has an off position. It also has a steering lock motorcycle so that someone can just roll it away on you which is handy for quick stops and then it also has a storage very simple basic storage I've never used it makes for a very cool looking fairing it has front and rear fenders they are 18 inch wheels so slightly larger diameter with 2.5 inch tires with uh, pretty smooth tread. It is a very narrow step through platform so it's not really designed to put your feet there. It has pedals that are positioned very similar to a bicycle so that's where you will spend your time with your feet on here. And the nice thing about that is you can do things like on a bicycle so when you take corners you can lift uh, the inside pedal and put down the outside pedal. It makes cornering feel more natural. Uh, suspension fork on the front. Uh, and then it has dual suspension set up on the rear. It does have passenger pegs if you ever want to carry passengers, but this isn't a particularly powerful e-bike, so I'm not sure how well it works with a passenger. I can't see myself ever uh, carrying a passenger on it personally. So in addition, it also has a spring-loaded center stand, which is very useful, very secure. It uh, mounts the bike in a very secure position, very stable. It does raise the rear wheel to allow you to do service. It did also come with a kickstand, which I removed. Uh, I don't think it's as useful as the center stand, so I removed it for, for uh, reduction of weight. Uh, the pedals it came with are... are uh, basically designed fold away design I replaced those with a more with a larger platform pedal which is uh, more secure and comfortable 
oh, I forgot to uh, point out one more thing that it has. It's a feature that I haven't used yet. It does come with a second key. And it does actually have a motor lock. So you can actually manually lock the motor so that it does not turn. But they do warn you that it's not connected to the electronics. So if you manually lock out the motor with this key, it will lock the wheel. But if you turn the unit on and try and go, the wheel will want to turn and you can damage your motor. So just be wary of that. It also does have an alarm system of some kind on it that I've never uh, used. Um, but there is an alarm feature on it as well. So if someone tries to move the bike, the alarm uh, will go off. Um, yeah. So I just added those additions to the end of my video. Thanks. Bye.